Hi everyone, today I'm just going to be cover to be covering particle sheets in Unity. To start off, we actually need to make the different phases of our um, icon in some sort of uh, image editing software such as Photoshop or GIMP. To start off, we just go to File, New, and uh, how many the width and height um, depends on how many sprites you want. For example, if you want four 256 by 256 sprites, then we all we need to do is just uh, make a width of 1024 and a height of 256, so you can fit four of these boxes into it. If you'd like to have eight, then you would just double the height to 512, and it would work much the same way. So let's do that. Um, in order to configure your initial grid in GIMP, all you need to do is go to Image, Configure Grid, and then the horizontal spacing is going to be 256, so it slices it up neatly into four boxes. And I don't want any vertical grid lines, so I'm just going to set it to 1024. Uh, so we're just going to make sure that this, this has an alpha channel. And in fact, we're going to be deleting this uh, black background. So we can see the alpha. If you need to, you can add a black background on another layer so it's easier to use. So let's get started. So I'm going to make a simple animation of like uh, kind of like a broken heart coming together in honor of Valentine's Day. And then finally, it's nothing too crazy, just to get the point across. And then we need to fill in the interior. And this is pretty much it for uh, the initial uh, sprite creation. So all we need to do is uh, go to File, Export As. I like to create PNGs, um, though there are other options. PNG works nicely because it has uh, the alpha information just as a inherent chunk of it. So export, um, this all looks good. Now going into Unity, all we need to do is take that um, image we exported. So we'll go to wherever you saved that and click and drag it into Unity. So we have it right here. Um, all of this is fine, no need to change any of this. We're going to create a new material. Boop, boop, boop. We're going to call it Particle. And then we uh, simply go to Shader, go to Particles, Standard Unlit. And we're going to change this to Fade and leave the color mode as Multiply. Uh, these are options. Opaque will show the background, which we don't want. Uh, cut out kind of I cut out and fade work in similar ways, but I prefer fade. So let's see. So we've got the image. Um, all we need to now is apply the image to the albedo map. So just click and drag it parts three into the maps. Now we actually need to create our particle system. So go to games, effects, particle system, and this is the default with these kind of fairy lights. In order to hide the orange uh, bounding box, just go to Gizmos, click Selection Outline, and it's gone. Now to actually enable, uh, switch it over to what we want, we need to go to the Renderer, and we need to pass our uh, material into this material slot. Now you see we've got the individual images, but it's showing them all at once. To fix this, we just uh, go to Texture Sheet Animation, Texture Sheet Animation, and we click the amount of tiles uh, in X and Y. So as you can see here in GIMP, we have four tiles in the X direction and only one in the Y. So we just change X to four. And there you go. Now we can see the animation playing out. Um, I'm also going to show you guys how to change color over lifetime. It's quite simple. Uh, you just click on this box here. Oh, first you got to check it in. And clicking on this box will show this. These top two markers are the... Um, alpha values and the bottom two markers are the uh, color values. So this is the beginning, this is the end. So we're just going to go from a 
light pink to a darker pink. And yeah, there you go. Um, so again, this is just meant to be a quick tutorial uh, to show the particular texture sheet animation, but there's a ton of options here. And a lot of them are much more intuitive than the texture sheet animation. I think the texture sheet animation is probably the hardest thing to get and the trickiest. But um, hopefully I try to make this as uh, thorough as possible, starting from scratch. So you guys will find it easy to follow along. So let me know if this helps you. Quick thing before I finish. If you want to make it faster in the texture sheet, you could just switch time uh, mode to FPS. And I think this is kind of a little more... Um, obvious to see how it works so if you want the default animation lasts for five seconds so you can go one frame per second and you can see that it resets there at the end so really what you probably want is something for 0 0.8 if you wanted to uh not reset to the first frame at the end so this might be a little this gives you a little more intuitive control and that's really it thank you